our third property is associative property okay associative property is saying the product of three or more than three whole numbers remain same after changing their orders this property is known as associative property okay here let's consider that a b and c three whole numbers are there okay if we we'll multiply them in a one order and again after changing their order if i change their order we'll get the same answer okay so on my left hand side we are having a multiply in bracket b multiply by c bracket complete so this is the one order okay where we have to multiply these whole numbers and on my right hand side here the same whole numbers are there but we have changes change their places so it means we have changed their orders okay so here first in bracket we have taken a multiply by b bracket complete and then c let's see we'll get the same answer on these whole numbers we'll take the numbers so we'll understood it what associative property is seen okay so on the place of a if i'll take here 8 okay multiply in bracket on the place of b if i'll take here 2 and c here 6 okay so let's see what the product will come after doing multiplication of these uh, three whole numbers okay so first what we have to do we have to multiply the whole numbers which are in the bracket so 2 multiplied by 6 is equal to 12 this is the product of these two whole number then multiply with the 8 so 8 12 za is equal to means 12 8 za 96 so we got the 96 you know one order so this is the one order we where we got the 96 now here on my right hand side the another order is same uh, whole numbers are there but the places we keep them in the other place on the other places we have changed their order so here we have to multiply first a into b and then multiply with the six, uh, c so on the place of what we have taken that is 8 okay in bracket and then take 2 on the place of we have taken 2 so here c is 6 okay so multiply these two whole numbers which are in the bracket 8 to the 16 multiply by 6 as uh, 16 6 are uh, 96 so student here also after changing their order here answer means order does not affect on the answer the value remains same after changing their order when you are multiplying three or more than three whole numbers so here pe associative property keti hai agar aap तीन से ज़्यादा और तीन अगर होल नंबर्स की मल्टीप्लिकेशन करते हो किसी भी ऑर्डर में अगर आप उनकी जगह भी चेंज कर देते हो फिर भी उसका आंसर सेम ही आता है ये प्रॉपर्टी एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी कहती है ये हम हाँ यहाँ पे हमने सीखा एंड देर इज अ लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंस व्हेन वी आर एडिंग एंड मल्टीप्लि� Closure property is there, associative property is there, commutative property is there. But there is a difference when you are doing the addition of whole number and when you are doing the multiplication of whole number. That you have to remember. Students, uh, keep in your mind there is a difference between when you are adding and multiplic uh, multiplicating the whole numbers that you have to remember again i'm just reminding you don't get confused or right, what we have to do the names of the properties are same what we have to do in that that property when we are multiplying so you have to keep the difference between these properties when you are doing addition when you are doing the multiplication okay now let's see the another important terms which is related to the multiplication of uh, whole numbers now this is a very important term when we are doing the multiplication of whole number that is multiplicative identity when we were doing the addition of whole number that time we have seen additive identity where we were adding the zero with any number so we were getting the same number so we got the same number after adding any whole number with the zero so here the different number is there which is multiplicative identity for whole numbers that is when a whole number is multiplied by 1, its value remains the same. 1 does not change the whole number after multiplication and therefore 1 is the multiplicative identity of whole numbers. In exam, in fill in the blanks or true or false, 
this type of question will come which one is the number which is multiplicative identity of whole number so you have to remember that is one because if you are multiplying any number with the whole number one with the whole number so we'll get the same whole number so number itself we get after multiplying with the one here if i take here five multiply by one we'll get the five ones are five so here the product we get, we get the same whole number. So 1 does not affect on the answer because after multiplying in uh, whole number with the 1, we get the same answer. So remember student, which one is the multiplicative identity of whole number? That is 1. 1 is the multiplicative identity of whole numbers. Okay. If for example, let's take another example here. 24 multiply by 1 is equal to 24 or if 1 multiply by 24 is equal to also 24 okay so here in any order if you are multiplying the any whole number with the 1 we get the same answer okay that you have to remember so 1 is the multiplicative identity of whole numbers and 0 is the additive identity of whole number so there is a difference between both the identities okay now let's see the another important term which is related to the multiplication of whole numbers okay when we are multiplying whole number by zero so remember student zero when you are multiplying with any number so remember the result is always zero result is always zero when a whole number whole number is multiplied by zero the result is the result is always zero always zero student you have to remember yeah I, you know that these terms you have learned in your previous standard but still we are just revising it whenever we are multiplying any number with the zero we get the same uh, we uh, we get the zero not a same number okay so here if i multiply six with the zero i'll get zero so six zeros are zero or zero six are if i'll write then also i will get the zero so here whenever you are multiplying any number whole number with the zero the result is always zero you have to remember this thing so here in this multiplication of uh, whole number we have seen the closure property where we have seen the if we are uh, multiplying any two whole number the product is also whole number that is in closure property we have learned after that we have seen the commutative property in commutative property what we have seen the product of any two whole numbers remain same after changing their order also okay in third property associative property if we are multiplying uh, three or more than three a uh, whole number their value remains same after changing their place after changing their orders that we have learned in associative property then next term we have seen the multiplicative identity so if you are multiplying any whole number with the one we get that same number okay we get the same whole number after multiplying by one and that's why one is multiplicative identity of whole numbers and here we have seen multiplication by zero if you are multiplying any number with the zero we get the result that is zero okay now let's see the another the fourth property which is very very important and little bit different than this property and that property is distributed distributivity of multiplication over addition the last property of whole numbers when we are doing multiplication of whole number that is distributivity of multiplication over addition what does it mean when we are doing the multiplication of whole number by a sum this property is known as distributivity of multiplication over addition in this what we do whatever the whole number which we are going to multiply we multiply that whole number with the sum means 
already we are doing the addition of two whole number and that whatever the uh, sum will get from the whole numbers we multiply with the that the given the previous whole number suppose here yahan pe ye keh rahe hai ki agar hum koi kisi bhi multiplication whole number ka multiplication karte hai to wo kisse karte hai hum sum se karte hai jo bhi addition aati hai do whole numbers ki us एडिशन so, के साथ हम होल नंबर्स की मल्टीप्लीकेशन करते हैं यहाँ पे एंड दैट इज वाई दे आर सेइंग दैट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिविटी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर द एडिशन व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिविटी मींस यहाँ पे हम क्या करते हैं सपोज हियर वी आर कंसिडरिंग ए बी एंड सी आर होल नंबर्स ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर स्टेटमेंट इफ यू पुट दीज होल नंबर्स ओके सो ए इज द होल नंबर होल नंबर एंड वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस होल नंबर विद द सम ऑफ दिस टू होल नंबर्स ओके आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ओके सो व्हाट डज इट मीन इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई देम सो ए इज मल्टीप्लाई विद द बी ओके एंड अगेन प्लस ए इज मल्टीप्लाई विद द सी ओके If we do the multiplication in this way, we get the same answer. And if we do the multiplication, and then if we add, we'll get the same answer. Here, what they are saying that the whole number is multiplying with the sum of these two whole numbers. यहाँ पे वो कह रहे हैं अगर एक ही जगह कोई भी whole number दूसरा whole number रहता है, तो in bracket this number is multiplying with this bracket. So in bracket which whole numbers are there? That the those numbers are multiplying with the a i hope you are try uh, understanding what i am trying to say ye whole number is bracket ke sath multiply kar raha hai bracket ke andar kon kon se whole number hai b aur c to iska matlab ye hua ki a multiply b bhi ho sakta hai aur a multiply by c bhi ho sakta hai to ye dono ke sath multiply karta hai ye iska kehna hai तो यहाँ पे ए जो है वो इसके साथ भी डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होता है बी के साथ और ए डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होता है सी के भी साथ होता है कब होता है जब हम की एडिशन करते हैं तो इसका मतलब ये हुआ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिविटी ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन ओवर एडिशन नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्टेटमेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल ओके so according to that property on our left hand side we are having a multiply bracket b plus c bracket complete is equal to a multiply b plus a multiply by c okay this is our uh, property okay and this is the equation which we are going to understand with the help of example okay if i'll take first example on the place if i will take here four okay multiply and on the place of if i'll take here 6 plus 9 okay to understand it on this place you can take any whole numbers and you can solve them okay so let's do the so let's solve this and then we will move to the right hand side okay so first what we have to do what they are saying we have to multiply the whole number with the sum of the whole number so 6 plus 9 is equal to 15 and then multiply with the 4 okay so 15 fours are is equal to 4 fives are 20 okay 2 is here 4 ones are 4 and is 60 so we got the 15 fours are 60 so okay so we have solved the right hand or uh, left hand side equation and we got the answer 60 now let's put the same value but here in a different way okay so here on the place of a what we have taken 4 multiply by 6 plus here a is 4 multiply by Nine. Okay. So four six is twenty four plus four nine is thirty six. Twenty four plus thirty six is equal to sixty. So we got the same answer. Here, वो कह रहे हैं कि distributive property क्या होती है? डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ये होती है आप जो भी होल नंबर लेते हो वो किसके साथ मल्टीप्लाई करता है जो भी होल नंबर्स के सम रहता है सम मतलब एडिशन ओके व्हेन वी आर एडिंग एनी टू होल नंबर इन द ब्रैकेट जो भी आंसर उसका आता है उसके साथ उसका मल्टीप्लिकेशन होता है 
ओके okay? और इसका मत, दूसरा मतलब क्या होता है अगर हम ए को ब्रैकेट के साथ मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हैं ब्रैकेट के अंदर क्या है दो होल नंबर से तो इसका मतलब ये ए जो है ये बी के साथ भी मल्टीप्लाई होगा और सेम ए सी के साथ भी मल्टीप्लाई होगा और तब उनकी एडिशन जो भी आएगी वो इ, जो भी हमारा पहला इक्वेशन उसके साथ जाएगा मतलब दोनों इक्वेशन की जो सम जो प्रोडक्ट रहेगा वो हमेशा सेम ही रहेगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ सिंपली वॉट वी आर डूइंग सपोज इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई फिफ्टी डायरेक्टली वी गेट द आंसर सिक्सटी बट हियर वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर डूइंग द मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन ए डिफरेंट वे इन अ डिफरेंट है वेर वी आर एडिंग द वन मोर ऑपरेशन दैट इज एडिशन एडिशन यहाँ पे हम क्या डायरेक्टली अगर हम करते थे मल्टीप्लीकेशन तो हमेशा हमें आंसर तो मिल ही जाता पर यहाँ पे हम मल्टीप्लीकेशन क्या कर रहे हैं एडिशन को लेकर हम मल्टीप्लीकेशन कर रहे हैं समझ में आया आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ओके लेट्स टेक अन अदर एग्जाम्पल अभी हम क्या करेंगे ये सेम प्रॉपर्टी क्या करते हैं अलग अलग तरीके से आपको एग्जाम्पल में पूछेंगे सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टूड व्हाट यू हैव टू डू ऑलवेज कीप दिस इक्वेशन इन योर माइंड दिस टू इक्वेशन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हमेशा ये दो इक्वेशन याद रखना क्योंकि अगर कोई भी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी आती है कोई भी एग्जाम्पल इफ दे आर सेइंग फाइंड आउट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू होल नंबर बाय डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग प्रॉपर्टी दैट टाइम यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज टू इक्वेशन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर व्हाट डज इट मीन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ओवर एडिशन सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग ओके लेट्स टेक एन अनादर एग्जाम्पल सो यू विल अंडरस्टूड इट बेटर Now here the example where they are saying find ट्वेल्व मल्टीप्लाई बाय थर्टी फाइव यूजिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिविटी ओके सो हियर वी हैव टू यूज द प्रॉपर्टी टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू होल नंबर्स ओके सो वट इज द इक्वेशन फॉर दिस प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज ए मल्टीप्लाई इन ब्रैकेट बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू ए मल्टीप्लाई बी प्लस ए मल्टीप्लाई बाय सी सो हियर टू गेट दिस इक्वेशन ओके फ्रॉम दिस टू होल नंबर्स वॉट वी हैव टू डू हियर यू कैन डू ओके ऑन द प्लेस ऑफ ए इफ यू कंसिडर टू और ट्वेल्व सॉरी ट्वेल्व ओके ट्वेल्व सो वॉट विल बी द बी प्लस सी सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वट एवर द सेकेंड होल नंबर इज देयर वी हैव टू सेपरेट देम लाइक इफ मल्टीप्लाई हियर इफ आई सेपरेट देम इन अ डिफरेंट वे थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो हियर वील गेट B as thirty and C as five. Okay, so we got the left hand side equation from it. Okay, now here, what is our second equation for the distributivity property? That is, A multiplied by B. So here A is twelve multiplied by thirty plus same A multiplied by the five. So here we got the we distribute this. Uh, two whole numbers in this property. So here, let's solve this example. So twelve by thirty is equal to so twelve zero is a zero and twelve three is a thirty six. So we got three hundred and sixty plus twelve five is a sixty. So here answer is thirty three hundred and sixty plus sixty is equal to four hundred and twenty. so here we got the answer 420 same answer will get directly if we we'll multiply this example directly so we'll get the 420 only but here they have said using distributivity property so hame hamesha yaad rakhna hai agar aisa example aata hai aur unhone bola hai ki aapko is form mein likhna hai distributive property mein likhna hai to hamesha yaad rakhna this equation so you have to convert this whole number into this equation and then solve it is very important so this is the one way they will ask you the question let's see the another way how they will ask us so this is the another example where the example is in the this form okay now what we have to do we have to convert this into the this equation means right hand side equation okay so 7 is multiply with this bracket so here if we we'll write the equation here to understand it better a multiply b plus c is equal to a multiply b plus a multiply by c okay so here on the place we have taken here 
okay on the place of b we are having 10 and here on the place of c we are having 2 okay so here a multiply b is equal to 7 multiply by 10 plus 7 multiply by 2 okay 7 10 are 70 okay 7 uh, 2 are 14 is equal to 70 plus 14 is equal to 84 84 okay so here is ka matlab yahi hua agar 10 plus 2 12 hota hai to humko 7 12 7 za 84 we got the same answer over here okay so sometime they will ask you the question in this form so you have to understood yeah this is the form of distributive property where the equation is exactly same like this question I hope you are understanding what I am trying to say. मैं यहाँ पे ये कह रही हूँ कि अगर ऐसे टाइप का क्वेश्चन आता है तो तुमको समझ में आना चाहिए अरे ये जो इक्वेशन दिख रहा है ये exactly इक्वेशन ऐसा है कि वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी की तरह है तो कभी कभी आपको इस साइड के इक्वेशन के हिसाब से आपको क्वेश्चन दिया जाएगा कभी कभी इस ये जो इक्वेशन है इसके हिसाब से आपको एग्जांपल दिया जाएगा तो आपको उस इक्वेशन के हिसाब से उस एग्जांपल के हिसाब से आपको समझना है अरे ये कौन सी प्रॉपर्टी एंड व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इट ओके लेट्स टेक द अनदर एग्जांपल व्हिच वेयर यू विल गेट द एग्जांपल इन दिस फॉर्म व्हेन द एग्जांपल विल गिव यू इन दिस फॉर्म सो यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू इन दिस फॉर्म ओके आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग Now let's see the another example. Now here, if you see the question carefully, 126 multiplied by 55 plus 126 multiplied by 45. So here, the equa the, these two equations are there and this question is similar like the left uh, right hand side equation. So here, well, as I said before, agar is tarike ka question is type mein aata hai, to humko kya karna hai? Is equation mein hume convert karna hai. ओके okay. कभी-कभी इस इक्वेशन में अगर आएगा तो इस इक्वेशन में हमको सॉल्व करना है कभी-कभी इन फर्स्ट एग्जांपल वी हैव सीन इन बोथ द इक्वेशन दे विल नॉट कम ओके इन अ सिंपल फॉर्म दे विल कम सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैट एग्जांपल इन बोथ द इक्वेशन इन बोथ द इक्वेशन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट एंड देन यू हैव टू सॉल्व ओके सो हियर लेट्स कंसीडर हियर 126 एज अ ए ओके एंड 55 एज अ बी okay and here 126 126 aa is common here okay so the here c is 45 so here c is 45 so let's convert them into this equation so here we are having a multiply by in bracket b plus c okay what is the a over here 126 multiply b is 55 plus c is 45 okay so here we have to multiply this whole number with the sum of this number so 55 plus 45 is equal to 100 and 126 multiplied by 100 as we learned before we have seen that if you are multiplying any number with the zero you will get the same number so here uh, you will get the zero sorry you will get the zero if you are multiplying any whole number with the zero answer will come 0. So, 126 multiply 0, 0, 2 zeros are there, 0. One more important thing we have learned that is if you are multiplying any whole number with the 1, we get the same number. So, if you are multiplying 126 with the 1, so we will get the 126. So, here our answer is 12,600. Students, remember it is very very important. When you are solving the answer, if the 100 come or maybe the multiple of 100 multiple of 10 comes okay where the on the last place on the last digit zero is there okay so that example is very easy to solve that example in a simple way i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to say so here we have seen the three different cases cases which is related to this property okay here we have seen the distributive property uh distributive distributivity of multiplication over the addition uh, over the addition uh, there this is very difficult to uh, uh, means pronounce this word distributivity 
for me also this is very difficult okay so student now let's see this property over the subtraction means how we have done the here addition in the same way we have to do the multiplication with the difference where we have to do the subtraction okay now here what is the difference when we are doing the addition okay for this property here same equations are there same equations are there what is the difference that is the sign okay here different means negative signs are there minus sign is there same exam same way you have to do it but where there you have to do the addition here we have to do the subtraction okay on this equation let's put the uh, whole numbers and you will understood i hope you will understood it better if we put the uh, whole numbers in this equation okay on the place of it will take here 20 on the place of if i'll take here 9 and on the place of if i'll take 2 okay so here what we have to do we have to multiply this whole number whatever the difference come after the subtraction of this whole number two whole number that difference we have to multiply with the 20 and that property is distributivity of multiplication over subtraction okay so here let's um, convert this equation into this one so here on the place of we are having 20 multiply by 9 minus 20 multiplied by 2 okay so here 20 multiplied by 9 is 90 0 0 9 2 the 18 so we got here 180 minus 2 0 0 and 2 2 the 4 so we got the 40 so here 180 minus 40 is equal to 140 okay so here what they are saying that what after multiplying, uh, after uh, doing subtraction of these two numbers, we will get 7. Okay, 20. So, let's do the subtraction so you will understood it. So, 7 zeros are 0 and 7 2 are 140. So, we got the same answer, 140. Students, here, what you have to remember is these equations. It is, both the equations are very, very important because question will come in a different way when they are saying using distributivity property that time you have to remember this equation and you have to put those whole number in this equation sometimes they will ask you the question in this form so that time you have to convert into this okay sometimes they will give the question in this form that time you have to convert into this sometimes they will not give simply whole number they will give that time you have to convert it into both the equations. I hope you are understanding what I am trying to say. What is this property? It is a little bit difficult and confusing. But I hope you will keep the difference between both the properties when you are doing the addition and the subtraction. Let's solve the more example to understand it better. And let's see the one one example for all the properties so you will understood it better. And then we will start to solve the uh, uh, exercise 2.2. Now student here to understand all this property which we have learned in this session. Let's solve the example to understand, understand those property uh, well. Okay so here the three uh, whole numbers are there. That is 12 multiplied by 439 multiplied by 75. And they are saying by rearranging them. So we have to change their order student. We have to change. You see first what you can do. You can do the multiplication of these two numbers. Then whatever the product will come, that product you will multiply with this number. That is also one way. But here they are saying that rearrange them. It means we have to change their order. Okay. So here one more important thing I want to tell you that if you change their order. So when you are multiplying, try to find out where you will get the zero. The answer near come to the 110 because it will be very easy to solve the example in a simple way. Let's see here if I will see the last digit of these two numbers. Okay, so if 2 multiply by 5, if I do it, so I will get the 10. As I said before, if you will get the answer near to the 10 or 100, it will be easy for you to multiply. Okay, if I multiply this 2 with the 9, so I will get 18. So what I will do, I will multiply the 12 with the 75 first. So here, 12 multiply by 75 and then multiply 439. 
okay so here i will get 12 multiply by 75 here for your understanding i will do here so here 5 2s are 10 1 will carry 5 1s are 5 plus 1 6 0 7 2s are 14 1 carry okay so 7 1s are 7 and plus 8 is equal to 0 6 plus 4 10 carry 1 so we got the 900 900 and then multiply 439 as i said before when you get the zero when you get the zero that time your multiplication become more easy to solve that example in an easy way so here 439 multiply by zero zero 439 again multiply with the second zero you will get zero now multiply 439 with the nine okay nine nines are 81 here will come eight okay uh, 81 sorry okay nine nines are 81 one will hit cock come over here so 9 3s are 9 3s are 27 27 plus 8 is equal to 25 so here will come uh sorry so 9 3s are 27 27 plus 8 is equal to 35 so 5 is here carry 3 9 4s are 36 36 plus 3 39 so here we got the answer 3951 so here will come 3 9 5 and 1 and we'll get the answer that is 3,95,100 so here we got the answer if you multiply all this in a singular way means in the one order you will also get the same answer but here they have said by rearranging them here we have changed the order first we multiply 12 uh, with the 75 and whatever the sum come after uh, whatever the product we got after multiplying these two whole number that number we have uh, multiplied with this uh, product and we got the 3,95,100 let's solve the another example to understand it now the second example here 6 multiply by 943 multiply by 438 again we have to change their arrangement here so what i will do here i will take the two small number here 943 is the bigger number okay so first i will multiply the two small whole number 6 multiply by 438 and then i will multiply 943 so let's find out the product of these two number okay so here 438 multiply by 6 so 6 8 are 48 6 3 is 18 18 plus 4 22 okay so 6 4 is 24 and 24 and 2 26 so here we got 2628 now multiply 943 okay this is a very big big uh, multiplication is there but now we have in this standard we have to learn the multiplication with the bigger number okay let's find it out here directly i will write here the multiplication 224 7 this is the answer students what you have to do is Solve this means multiply these two number in your notebook and see the answer is coming. This answer is coming or not. Definitely you will get the answer. That is 24,78,204. I hope you understand all these property when you are multiplying the whole numbers when you are adding the whole numbers. So remember and keep your keep in your mind what is the difference between these properties when you are doing addition and multiplication okay and in next session we will solve the exercise 2.2 and whatever we have learned right now in this session you will get all those notes all the notes which are related to this uh, 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 related to the properties of whole number you have to write them in your notebook because these notes will help you when you are solving the examples by your own self okay